Okay, it's Rob, and I'm in the kitchen. I told you there was going to be more cooking videos coming. So, it is uh, right around Thanksgiving time. I think by the time you see this, it's probably after Thanksgiving, but you know, I'm doing this before Thanksgiving, so uh, kind of the way it works. Uh, tonight, I am starting to prepare the stuffing, or the dressing, or whatever you want to call it. I know some people are picky about one or the other. I call it stuffing deal. Right, these are some of the ingredients I'm going to be using. Um, a lot of people say that you have to use celery. I don't like celery. So what I have are the celery of onions. These are leeks. I'm going to be using those and I've got some regular green onions in here. I've also got regular red and white onions. Uh, some hot Italian sausage. Some brick hard old donuts. Yes, I'm putting donuts in the stuffing. And uh, some mixed ginger and lemon herbs that are lemon zest that is dried. Uh, this is left over from the um, ginger beer cooking. And of course the normal sage and onion cube stuffing. Uh, there will probably be more. I think I've got some walnuts I want to add. Uh, but I'm going to start with this. Okay, uh, starting with the donuts. I mean, these have been around for long enough to be nice and dry. <laughs> Still yummy, though. Dry but yummy. Like my sense of humor. Next up, we have time for to uh, peel and cut the onions. Now, normally I would do this by hand with a. Uh, nice sharp knife, but I found a neat trick that I want to show you. This is of course an instant pot. You might have one of these or you might have seen one of these. And they are one of the more versatile kitchen implements I've ever seen. So put your onions in whole. Don't have to add any water. Just put them in and press the onion button. And in just a couple minutes, it is done. They're a little hot yet. But all the onions freshly peeled and cut. And you do have to be careful because after every, uh, I don't know, like six small onions or four big ones, you'll have to clean out the onion filter in the back. Well, I've got the pan on preheat. Uh, I'm going to start dicing these up. This is about a pound of uh, hot Italian sausage. Peel off the protective layer. You could cook with this on, but it does end up getting a little chewy. Yeah, it looks about done. I'll take this and uh, just reserve for a while. It can cool down. It's not going to be too long. Add a little bit of high smoke point oil. Oil. This is grapeseed oil. Uh, you can use a lot of different oils. Uh, I'd stay away from the 5W30. Turn the heat down to a medium low. Add the onions. Leave it covered. Okay, some people say that you have to use celery. 
in your stuffing. And I am not one of those people. I am not a big fan of celery. But I got the, uh, the celery of onions. These are leeks. And they're <clears throat> kind of, they taste kind of like onions, but they're much milder. Uh, and they're more tough. So milder, tougher. Uh, and they, uh, they have all sorts of interesting things. Now they they have this um, formation on the inside that's a bunch of leaves that overlap each other. So I want to check and make sure that there's no dirt in here. I think there's a little bit right there. Just get rid of that. And then take and chop off the baby bits. for soup. Although leek soup isn't generally one of the best things in the world. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, it's starting to get there. What we're looking for is you don't want to cook these down all the way, uh, but right until they start getting transparent, like if you see that kind of thing, that's what we're looking for. I'll probably put too many in this pan at one time. It's actually looking pretty good right about there. Alright, so let's take this and dump it in the big bowl. more oil. Turn up the heat to medium. Add the leeks. Okay, now an important thing bottom of this pan uh, all right. the bottom of the pan has some lovely lovely stuff on it I want to deglaze the pan this is rice vinegar uh, might use a little bit of malt vinegar too Daddy needs a Red Bull. So this is the way that I like to prepare the turkey goo uh, or all the stuff that I put underneath all the herbs and everything that I put underneath the skin. And I start with two sticks of butter that have been softened. Uh, these have been out overnight in the oven so that the dogs wouldn't get to them. And then I pop them in the microwave for 20 seconds. You can see they are just starting to get melty. And here's where you're going to add flavoring to your turkey. And turkey needs flavor. So I'm starting off with some roasted garlic rub. Granulated garlic. Uh, you can use real garlic if you want, fresh garlic. But I found that in cooking, the granulated garlic works just as well, especially if you're up against fat. Uh, this is some rub that I made earlier. Some dried thyme. And crumble some rosemary in. And this is some magical hot pepper powder. You do not need very much of it. And then you stir. Alright, got a roasting pan ready. Uh, I'm gonna 
can actually split these. Now I, I took the outer layers off and washed these because there's dirt that gets on the inside. Uh, so I just want to slice down the middle. And <clears throat> And adding some potatoes. This is pretty much just to lift the turkey off of the bottom of the roasting pan. Um, it's more just to keep it from sticking. I mean the vegetables will get some of the, the flavor and all that too, but uh, it's mostly just designed because I don't have a rack for the bottom of this one. This is the part the dogs are mostly interested in. As you can tell. This one came with its legs pre-tucked, which is actually kind of nice. But, I'm going to open it up. Because there's some stuff in here that you probably don't want. That's the, uh, the neck. We're going to keep that up. Because it will help make some turkey stock. Or, no, maybe we'll just put it back in here. Let it cook into the broth. Okay, now, one of the things that I like to do is to start separating the skin. Piper, stick! A lot of this is because the breast meat is has very little fat in it, uh, so it doesn't have doesn't generally have a lot of flavor. Now this turkey actually came a little bit damaged. It's got this chunk out of it here, so it's not going to be quite as quite as aesthetically pleasing. But I'm not all that worried about the aesthetics at this point. Um, these are going to be food turkeys, not you know super presentation turkeys. I'm not doing a competition. I'm going to try to not rip the skin. Keep as close to the uh, the meat as possible. And just run your fingers in there. This one's pretty tough. I'm surprised. It's also the smaller turkey, so it's... Separating the skin like this will also help the skin to crisp. And that's really one of the things I love in a turkey is a nice crispy skin. Like a turkey puppet. Now, take the goose bread that we made earlier pack it in there. Okay, now we're at a bit of a crossroads. Uh, normally the stuffing, well, I guess not normally, but uh, normal for some. Uh, historically, let's go with that. Stuffing has been used to stuff the turkey. And uh, some people say that you shouldn't do that because you know the possibility of contamination. You're going to be cooking the turkey in an oven to a temperature that's going to kill any of the germs. So I don't think it's a problem. I've done it for years and I've never been sick. Uh, at least not from the turkey. Uh, but to help mitigate any problems, what we're going to do is get another bowl and we're going to put stuffing in that bowl so that we're not transferring stuffing from the full stuffing bowl to anything that touches the turkey. So, Here's a trick I recently learned. What stuffing you have left over that hasn't filled the bird. This is the uncontaminated stuffing. Take two eggs. Beat the eggs. And mix them in. Probably use three eggs too. I mean this is quite a bit of stuffing. If you're anything like me, and you probably are, you can add butter. 
Okay, this is going covered for a while because right now the turkey turkeys are in uh, 350 degree oven. I've got a convection oven, so it's 350. Uh, if you're using a regular oven, 375 is probably better. 20 minutes a pound, and biggest turkey is 15 pounds, so that's uh, 72 hours. No, wait, that's wrong. I'll figure it out. I am being informed that I need to take a dog break. And we need to go for walkies. Okay. <laughs>